bit of a windy day today. My hair might have its own agenda. So this is one of the barrels that's been leaking. It's not leaking by this hole. I don't know where the water's coming out, but somehow or other it leaks. But not from um, from that. So I've removed the pig nipple using these pliers. And so because I couldn't get um, these washers and nuts, I couldn't get more of them, I'm going to reuse these ones. So I'll just clean these up a bit and then I can reuse them on um, other barrels. But I've got three that I will be removing um, this from. I'm going to tape up this hole. So what I'm going to be doing is soaking corn in this one. So this one is taped up. Um, so I'm sure that when it's got the corn in and the corn swells, I don't think it will be leaking like it was when it was just holding water. Well, let's hope that the corn will stop what the leak was. But it's quite, uh, when the weather starts getting hot, it's uh, quite important to then start giving them um, food that's been soaking in water so that it sort of helps get liquid into their body because some of them don't drink that much or don't drink enough and others are permanently thirsty. Going over to Nick and Andrea, so I'll re take the um, soil out later. I've got some feed in here as well underneath, but I've got to get the soil out first. It's quite heavy. I'll do that later. But um, I've got a load of rubbish that I am going to be loading into the van to take to the dump. And I know I could be reusing some of the plastic bags, but honestly, I don't really have any place to store it. And I generate them all the time. So when I need them, I'll always have a bag that I can use. These are just ones that, yeah, haven't been used. Come to visit Nick and Andrea, and Nick is putting Andrea through her paces. He hasn't seen her for such a long time because he's been away and he's making sure she's getting in shape. <laughs> I don't know what's for, though. <laughs> so these are Cindy Swine's piglets at Nick and Andrea. And I'm sure the wind is going to be howling in this video, but you can see uh, Ham is the son of Chris. And you can see Chris has come through very strongly in these piglets. <laughs> yeah. Oops. 
definitely going to have to do some major weeding in here. The weeds have sort of gone a bit crazy, but I'm going to, um, the cabbages that have bloomed like this, I'm going to cut them for the pigs. Are you helping yourself to the pig's cabbage? Oh my goodness, Betty. Is the time coming? Are you starting to get contractions? Are you starting to get contractions? I think so. Yes. She was lying down. Looks like she's starting to push. I've just given her a little bit of the cabbage. So it could be time. Are you smiling at me? Hey? Yes, you want a stale graham graham cracker? Hmm? Oops. You want to we'll find a bigger one? Let's find a bigger piece for you. There we go. Who's wanting a graham cracker? Are you wanting? Oh my goodness. There we go. Is that nice? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. My goodness, sweetie pie. Look at your face. Seriously. So I've been given a lot of plant starts, so I need to get that other raised garden bed ready. So I must take the soil out of the van. I'm not lying, but this uh, 80 litre bag of composting soil is pretty heavy. This one I can manage, but the other one, back breaking. But it's in the wheelbarrow, I'm going to take it down to the raised garden bed now. And I know sometimes I'm bringing you down But I always make you smile, don't I? Mm -hmm. We're like the waves on a baby storm, you see But still you're the one who brings out the best in me
the ground and then we we always get back up again we're a little messed up baby kind of up and down and we keep falling till we hit the ground but then we oh, we get back up again yeah we're a little messed up baby it's never getting boring when we keep aiming for the stars just you and me so there's actually nothing wrong with this big blue barrel it's actually got place for three pink nipples but one of them i think it could be that one they'd actually pull the nipple right out the barrel but they haven't actually broken the plastic so i've got the nipples but i've got some plumber's tape as well um i'm going to try and see if i can repair this because this is a good barrel there's nothing wrong with the barrel if i can just make sure that it's not leaking i think this is where they, this is the one they pulled it out from so let me see what i can do so this is the one that had come out i've got it back in but um i'm wondering if i should try and put some silicon around it as well I'm not sure if it's going to hold, if the water will leak out around where they had pulled it out before. Okay, so I've put silicon around all of these. And I've got silicon in the inside as well. So I'm going to let that dry and I will test it tomorrow. Right, these starts are looking a little bit wilted, so I'm going to get them into the ground as soon as possible and give them a little bit of water this evening. And So they say it's best to plant in the evening, so that's what I am doing. Right, everything's planted, so I'm just going to give it a bit of water now. So... This is the next day now, so I'm going to check to see if um, me fixing this up and putting silicon on is going to stop it from leaking. Um, just to stop the pigs from throwing it all over the show, I'm actually going to use my hole saw over here and I'm going to put a hole in over there and one on the other side so that I can um, put some rope in to tie it to the fence so if they do knock it around I, it's not going to roll around on the ground that's the plan so I'm going to try a different area because um, this is too thick the whole saw can't go in so maybe if I try it over here I've managed to get a hole on this side and a hole on that side. So let me cut some rope, um, tied on here. So ready, tied onto a fence. I've tried to keep this, um, tie this up. I don't know how long it'll last tied up for, but um, we'll see. There are stakes in the ground as well that it's tied onto. This one's also tied up. The sheep can hear me out here. Well, they see me out here. So obviously every time they see me, it's feeding time. No matter what time of the day it is. They're worse than the pigs. Moment of truth time. I'm going to plug in this pressure pump and uh, run water into those two barrels. So far, so good. Oh, no. Damn, it's leaking over there. I'll have to try and see why it's leaking. And this one's leaking over here. So, yeah. This is maybe not working so well. Damnation. I'm actually going to stop the water because it's pouring out at the bottom over there. Right, let me try the other one. So 
so this one is a disaster it's um running out of all three nipples this one is holding up okay so 50 percent success rate yeah so the water is definitely flowing out of the nipple it seems to be stuck in an open position i don't know how you can close it this one isn't as bad but you can see it's also the nipple that's stuck but that one's just pouring straight out so the nipples are obviously damaged So while I've been working online since 3.30 this morning, I've got Debbie and David here that are hey. yeah, hey. clearing up and they're moving. I'll show you where they're moving. All the bottles have been moved and um, they've stacked a lot of wood. They're now clearing this area. They work like absolute Trojans. <laughs> they've moved. Um, all of the stones, the pavers that were at the top, they've moved them down for me as well. Because my back has been, I think all the sitting of working online, my back has been taking so much strain. And the wood from under the oak tree, um, I'm not going to be using it uh, to support fencing like I did before because the pigs just break through it. So this is perfect firewood. So this is in my fire storage area for next winter. You will notice something missing from this area. All the bottles have been moved. So the bottles are now behind the kitchen in the princess room because these bottle bricks will eventually be used to build the walls in the princess room. So I've put the bottles where they will be used. And it is not as unsightly as when it was all up there. Have one in my Look how cool this looks now, all cleared up over here. Brilliant. So the bottles have also been cleaned off and all brushed around there so I can paint that section of wall. So much bird life on the farm. Just listen to them. I don't know if you can really get the size of the incline as it goes down so this is actually over there the top of my land over there where that tree is up there my land just goes a little bit further than that tree at the top but that's like the top of the valley and all of this is quite a steep slope coming down and then it carries on and then where my cottage is is basically in the middle of the valley but there's rain forecast tomorrow, so I'm just going to, there's a bale of hay that's out that I'm just going to put under cover. <laughs> These sheep are quite well behaved, so when they see me with a feed bucket, they'll come charging back around that corner and go back into their pen. Sheep, sheep, sheep! Sheep, sheep, sheep! Sheep, sheep, sheep! 
Look at that, look at that, look at that. Right, come, 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 come. In, 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 in. Go on, go on. In, in, in. No. In, in, in. In. Come on. That's it, in your house. Nah. Thunderstorms and rain this morning. So I'm just waiting for the rain to stop before I go and feed animals. Pigs have been really loving the fermented corn um, just filling their buckets it's still raining but not as much as what it was but yeah pigs now I'm in the shed doing the feed so you can hear them going crazy and every now and then you'll hear thunder and you'll hear cupcake you hear the squeak Listen to this. Listen to Cupcake. <laughs> oh, God, so much to offload. So, I've got these bricks and stones because I have an idea for a new project. which I will start once I'm finished the other projects. Bramble seems to be going a bit crazy over here and it's starting to take up a lot of the pasture so I'm thinking I might get someone in to come and take out this bramble because this I can't do this I don't have the equipment um, for a start but it's yeah sorry for the wind there's a bit of wind today but yeah Bramble is taking over over here. See there's some oak trees that are coming up over there that will provide nice shade um, eventually and this whole this big oak tree over there this whole paddock is actually just ringed with there's a lot of oak trees there's another one over there and there's a lot of shade under the rocks but yeah I think I must do something about these brambles the rain from this morning is gone, so I see there's rain forecast again next weekend, but at the moment it's a beautiful evening. So this week I plan to paint, finish the painting in the bathroom, finish that grouting, and then I'm going to be starting the path that's going to go from the bathroom past the bedroom to the kitchen all along there but this is huge difference now that it's all cleaned up and tidied up i still got some bottles that i've got to move around to the back um i think there's some bottles there as well but otherwise life on the farm 
So it's been quite a busy week, actually. I've had managed to get a lot of things done. Haven't filmed all of it. Um, I have done some online work as well. So luckily for the next month, I'm going to be working mostly. I'm doing the same amount of work, but it's going to be online. So I'll be able to get lots of things done on the farm before the heat of summer really hits. I can hear my rugby game is coming back on. So I'm going to say goodbye. Stay sane, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.